imagine getting caught up in a concept about love and think that's love. And you're wedded to that idea about what love is and what it should look like and how it should be. And so anybody that seemed to be behaving differently from that, you'd be very upset because I did that for years. You can get wedded. Concepts are of spirit, but they're not spiritual in nature. So if I get wedded to a spiritual idea, like I did for years and years and years, it still creates a kind of I'm spiritual, you're not, I'm right, you're wrong. This is the way it is, not how you see it innocently. So you have holy wars even, right? Which are just people wedded to different beliefs saying, I'm, we're right, you're wrong. If you but believed what we believe, you'd be fine. And what Sid said is like, that's normal. We all do that. And that's why we get upset with people or intolerant or impatient or righteous. We all do at times. But there's a feeling to that that lets us know we're wedded to thinking. And now when I feel tension, stress, or upset, not all the time, certainly, but a lot of the time now that feeling is like, oh, I thank, thank God I feel that way. It's letting me know I'm wedded to my thinking, period. And Sid, so Sid says, if you really see that your tension, stress, or upset, your insecurity, is created from thought you're wedded to. This will happen. He said, I'll bring you right back to the now. Why would I hold on to something that hurts me, that stresses me, that upsets me? Just like you put your hand on a hot stove. Why would I keep my hand on the stove if I know that's where the pain's coming from? And without technique, without theory, without belief, we take our hand off the stove. When, when I work with clients, when they really see that this uptight is th holding thought, they let go. No technique. I don't have to explain to them how to do it or teach them how to do it. They begin to more and more back away from their thinking rather than lean into it. Most adults, when they're having a problem or difficulty, think harder. And with understanding, you begin to, in a sense, think less. You fall into the unknown. Why? You find clarity there and you find peace of mind. And then out of that space of clarity, this deeper intelligence brings us new feeling that's uplifting and new thinking that's creatively responsive to any situation, any situation. So it's just understanding the principles is unfortunate because it's really standing under our intellect, not understanding it intellectual. I don't understand the infinite formless nature of life, I can intuit the truth of it. Insight. Oh, this too is thought. And it, it says, if you really see it, it'll bring you back to the now. And when we're in the now, we're like babies and babies don't get stuck in feelings. They flow through them. When I'm in the now, I'm like the sky. <laughs> Consciousness is like the sky. And then thoughts are like the birds flying through. And the, the sky has no problem with any bird flying through. So there's an old Chinese proverb. Don't let it, the proverb is let the birds of unhappiness fly through the sky of your mind. Just don't grab onto one of those birds and have it build the nest in your hair. 